Was there about 30 seconds, you reckon? I don't know. <laughs> oh, there we go, starting, receiving content. Oh, fantastic, get ready. Good evening, guys. Good evening. Welcome to Chinwag number 103, I believe yeah. it is. Chinwag number 103, <coughs> our weekly uh, eBay sales chat. Yeah. Um, See, I don't yeah. like the ways it has set us up this chat, right? When we do like oh, this, like anything. okay. Yeah. All right, because we've just gone like straight live. Normally we have like, an we event, start an event an, yeah. and stuff like that, right? When we do it this way, it gets a really awkward bit at the start. Where we're just... Where we're getting... just like not doing much. Yeah, but it's, it, it's fine. It's fine. It's not... <laughs> no, because I watched your bat chat from last night. And, and you're was... like looking at the screen for like, it feels like forever <laughs> before you start talking. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, yeah. it can be it can be it can look a little yeah. unprofessional yeah. but um, I don't like this hi everybody this and uh welcome to the chat obviously a lot of you guys have just yeah. come from um the um final raffle for the for the charity auction yeah. that, with nick and andrea and tom which has been incredible hasn't has it like was it like yeah. nearly eight thousand pound raised mm -hmm. it's just you kind of just sit there and you think like wow it's like it shows that there's so much good in people and it's yeah, just yeah it's it amazing. really does it really does um it, it kind of brings it's like it brings a little tech because you're like wow all these all mm -hmm. these people all these brilliant people that uh, you know we'll, we will chat mm -hmm. to etc and it's like they can be so generous because of the cause you know the yeah. cause brings people together it's just like well, it's a, yeah a sense I, of community isn't yeah it, so. i think that's just yeah so i'm like just yeah fantastic job guys fantastic job to everyone that's obviously been part of it and fantastic job to nick andrew and tom for mm -hmm. like you know because it was a slog wasn't it it's mm. like a lot of organization and whatnot so uh you know absolutely amazing um hi dbg Stephen, shazad ash janet uh lobster pot carla is in there ain't no p we're not starting this beck do i like s club I don't know. You're such a cow. <laughs> he knows a few of the songs. Oh, you know them too. <laughs> you know them too. It's not. <laughs> it's not like God. You meant to have my back. But in in all seriousness, <laughs> on, I, I haven't heard him listen to S Club, Club for like a few years now. Thank, like many. <laughs> you, that doesn't sound long enough. That sounds like. <laughs> Maybe a couple years yeah, ago, I was listening to them when I was like 35 or <laughs> 33, and I just pop on, you know, well, you know. like, no, no, okay. Hi, yeah, Bex and Z. Sir Southwest me. Sellers, don't stop moving. <laughs> um, <laughs> Sean had a question, uh, but it was um, Are Amazon sellers aware of the hidden VAT tax they pay on each item that sells? It's hidden when you add an item, so you're actually paying more fees than it's showing you. Um, I'm not sure about the, what you mean by that, Sean, but um, yeah, I think we all, yeah, you probably do have to pay something. I don't know. I'm, I'm not massive on, on the yeah, old Yeah, we um, don't really do like... Massive amounts of it. I don't fully understand. The, I, I, we just see the fees that they show us. Yeah, to so be quite we, honest, yeah. we don't do Amazon on... The scale that we should be doing. Big enough yeah. scale. We've started to, to but you know. know yeah. We've started to do some more now, but really. yeah. But we don't know the ins and outs, so no. um, hopefully so someone we don't in the know chat. What you get charged yeah. for. Maybe someone in the chat can help. Yeah. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Yeah. Um, right. Um, <laughs> let's just scroll down. Lex is doing crying faces. I don't know why. What, what's happened? Why is Lex doing crying faces? Maybe we shouldn't find out. Actually, it's probably for the best. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there's Darren. If this has taught us anything, it's to don't stop, never give up, hold your head high and reach the top. Can I just say? I bet he's a Britney fan too. My phone's telling me it's time, time to for go bed. to bed. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. You're not even lying. Show them. I'm so Show them. not lying. Rebecca's phone. It's just come up. It's time for bed. Let me just get it back up. There we go. I was having a right rant about Apple There we go. Night. Time for bed. <laughs> Yeah, we need. Yeah, yeah right, we, we need. We need. All right, phone. Time to go I'll to bed. I listen to you. <laughs> well, we do normally. <laughs> um, this is because we've been getting up at five o'clock in the morning. Yes. So my yeah. phone is telling well, me. Well, we, we had now a line time to, go to that, to didn't we? We didn't get yeah. up till nearly yeah. seven. I had a late start at work today, yeah. so we took advantage of it. And, exactly. And decided not to get up at five. Yeah, exactly. Is Rachel Z's favorite? I don't even know who that one is. <laughs> She's the. Um, 
you know, Rachel Stevens, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, she was yeah. the one that was like everyone, she had like the Rachel haircut as well. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. Like from Friends. From Friends, yeah. yeah. Um, Hi Z, the biggest S Club fan ever was. Very funny, Simon. Very funny. You don't seem to be laughing. <laughs> well, Do you not find it funny? <laughs> 33, that was a long time ago. Oh, forget it, Ash. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Dr. Doodle Doo is in with more limits, more lyrics yeah. as well. Um, any chance you can increase the volume? Oh, Why I do we always get... Vo- I don't know. Like, I, I game? don't know. If I turn it up, then anyone wearing headphones, beware. Yeah. All right. We'll move it up more to our, like, face. There we go. I don't know. Hopefully that's, what, that's yeah. better. Yeah. I don't know. We w- When I listen back, it sounds okay. I the know. The sound but... is super low here, says BCP. See? Yeah. See? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I mean... The other side of it is if we turn it up too much, then like people wearing headphones, it, it's really yeah. loud. Well, yeah, I mean, it, I don't know. We, we're good. Hopefully that's okay. Yeah. Hopefully that's okay. Um, I'll just lean across mm-hmm. like this for the whole chat and just be like, yeah, okay. Oh, um, okay. Spam Z and Beck with vid like, says the Welsh Wonders. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Um, <laughs> um, Only if you want I've to. lost the hubby to Red Dead Redemption 2, says Karin. Oh, yeah, that dear. came out that did, today. It? Yeah, I've Ooh. been looking forward to it. I'm probably not going to play it anyway. Yeah. Um, hey, Nick and Andrea, what's up, tat lovers? Yeah. Um, no bat chat tonight, then says Aid. Probably not. With, no, because we're. we're we're going to be going to car boot. To go boot yeah, yeah, we are. We're, yeah, we're, yeah, in the morning. Z so was still packing not. with us at five a.m. Says the tap dog. <laughs> it wasn't. I went to bed around midnight or one. I don't know. I yeah. went asleep. I think it was like mid. We went on a bit of a rant about stuff. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was you know. Yeah, yeah. I noticed. Yeah. I watched it this yeah, morning. It was a bit. Yeah, <laughs> it was a bit. It was a bit out there. <laughs> yeah. Um, Dublin reseller says hello. Please, I sold a Monopoly game nearly a year ago. Yesterday I got a message saying I have never received this item. Do I ignore this message or refund him? If it's nearly a year ago, you can just ignore it. Yeah. Um, if you want, you can reply to him and say um, it's been you're too long to do anything about yeah. that. Um, so yeah, I mean, but I'd probably ignore that if it's like nearly a year. I wouldn't be bothering. Um, why is your lounge so bright with the curtains closed? Another side effect of the fracking. <laughs> no, it's because we've got the lights on. We've got the, lights on yeah, and we've stuff. we've got the lights yeah. on in the yeah. front room. That's why it looks bright. Yeah. Um, I should be car booting really, says Aid. Um, yeah, car booting in the morning would be good. Um, sold a store promo of that today for £30. Store promo of what? What a store promo of what? Mm. not even sure. Was it the, oh, you know, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. Um, LeBelle says, good evening. Um, no, I'm not an S Club 7 fan, LeBelle, and but thanks. Donna Tully um, says, evening, and how am I late? Uh, we were a little bit late as well, so yeah. I wouldn't worry. We've only yeah. just started. Yeah, exactly. So we've only just got to say yeah. hello. Yeah, exactly. We've just so, been saying hellos and chatting yeah, about so S Club. Yeah, missed much. Um, we will get into our sales. We'll, we'll start talking about our eBay sales yeah. for the week. Um, it's been a good week of sales. Mm-hmm. Um, it's been s- steady, but there was like a little dip during the week, which is frustrating. Um, because there's no you can never tell why like we had a really kind of good start to the week and mm-hmm. then we had like on the 21st 22nd you know 23rd we had like a couple of naff days um, and then you know but it, things then picked up um, but the, the, it was a bit up and down but we had some good days in the end mm-hmm. to to kind of pull it through um, we'll go straight on to the graphs yeah. we don't wanna be on, like, we're not going to delay it yeah. too much so yeah. we're going to yeah. We'll show you the graph. We'll show you the graph straight away. Um, and Nick and Andrew says, ain't no party like an S-Club party, so Z tells me. Whatever, Nick. Um, Z, I have something for you. I've posted it on the auction group, says Donna. Okay. Um, seriously, I think Z is getting annoyed with the S-Club stuff, so we should stop and reach for the stars. <laughs> Z... Oh, okay, right. Yeah. We're gonna go straight. We're gonna, we're gonna share straight, our sales. Straight um, for the old yeah, we'll, uh, we'll, graph. We'll show you a couple of graphs today. Um, so this is our eBay sales for the last seven mm-hmm. days. So you can see it's from the nineteenth to the twenty fifth, um, and you can see it's been very up. There's been a couple of 
up and down days. It's just lucky that we've had four strong days, um, but then we've had three really kind of weak days. So we had mm -hmm. like um, a £165 day there with eight transactions, six transactions, but only 48 quid, yeah. seven with 180, 10 with 240, and then three for 63. That was quite a slow day. And then again, three for 87. So the 23rd and the 24th of October, for some reason, was pretty just, you know, randomly lower yeah. compared to what we're used to. Um, which is weird. I, I, you know, I don't know why why that happens, but it happens sometimes. Um, you know, and then the final day we actually ended up on two hundred and thirteen pounds with mm -hmm. eight transactions. Um, so it was just a bit. It was a good week because we did just about take a thousand pounds, which is not bad. Um, we're pretty pleased. We have started to see like the sales tick up and we looked at like when you say tick up do you mean like pick up a little bit yeah <laughs> what? What? why <laughs> you know what 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 they're gone nothing what's funny no nothing no it was <laughs> what did i say wrong no you just said tick up yeah like pick up you can say they, no. you can say tick up no why not that doesn't make sense. there's been an uptick like an uptick, tick yeah, up. Okay, all right. Can you not say that? No. Why not? Should I have said uptick? No. Why not? An uptick isn't a, a word. God. <laughs> Can't you? Well, I think there's been an uptick in sales. <laughs> sales have picked up, if that's how you prefer it. Yeah. Okay, they've picked Actually. up. I mean, RC sales do pick up at this time of year. We have seen sales, like, slightly yeah slightly right so we're hoping things are gonna just keep going yeah um, and we had a really good january last year um, we did with the rc stuff so yeah. but know. we can't ignore that i think a lot of this has been um does he mean an increase <laughs> exactly <laughs> an increase, <yeah. laughs> exactly it I mean, has been the thing is it's like we can't shy away from the fact that part of the reason why we've managed to get um like the sales that we have have has been because we like haven't because we've been going out and finding more stock does two sales in the hand comment from southwest sellers um <laughs> mine 30 days 378 percent up from last year and transactions are 280 percent up from last year shazad there's no competing with that there's no um, competing darren says question is there a down tick um <laughs> okay yeah um there's been an uptick of birds in the bush lately <laughs> and the cells don't stop moving <laughs> oh god aid says the graph looks like my health up and down like a yo-yo ah -yo. Oh, sad to hear um yeah i've heard of the term ticked off but not ticked up but that's what i mean up, they just sound sure really uptick. weird you just make stuff up no i'm sure uptick is no. a uptick is a legit Maybe. thing Uptick is a thing. Uh, maybe. Anyway. No? An uptick. Yeah, so, yeah, that's the, <laughs> that's the old graph. That's, that's, the, that's the graph, yeah. Um, so we're happy with how it's going, but we've got to say that a lot of that has been down to us going out and sourcing. And, yeah. Um, if we yeah. hadn't been going out and sourcing, we wouldn't have made the sales we've made yeah. because we've had a lot of we have had still a lot of rc stuff come through mm -hmm. you know there's no no doubt about that we're still selling a lot of rc parts um but we have also sold um a lot of parts which like a lot of items which we've just recently picked up and you know we, we we've just you know done well on and, and and if we hadn't picked them up what, what? hyper picker said it I think you mean uptake. So An yeah. uptake. Maybe that's what I mean. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. See, that makes sense. That sounds more where it should be. Yeah. Um, yeah. Did Tat Doctor ask, did you use that growing machine before you sent it? No, no. we didn't. We just <laughs> sold it. We actually had to sell that as um like incomplete yeah because the water we were, pump yeah you worked out that mm. the water pump wasn't working and it yeah. was one of those where we could have paid for the part got it fixed and then asked more or ask less and just move it on and you know obviously describe it as that's what it needed so um and that's what we did yeah we sold it as it was exactly and, yeah um, yeah yeah it was it, it, it was um we were like 
it was we could have easily made more money um, yeah. But the thing is, the pump wasn't in sale in the UK at the time. No. It was like we'd have to go and buy the pump for the for the aero yeah. garden, and then we'd have to wait yeah. until we got it, and then yeah. get it fixed, and then blah 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 blah. So we chose the shortcut route, which was not to wait to and sell so, it as it yeah. was. We sold it for thirty five quid, and we paid yeah. five, so um, we're pretty happy. Yeah, with I mean, that. it's still a profit, not as much as profit as we could have done but then we would have had to have paid for the part so again it was like how much is it worth to kind of you know yeah oh look there you go Antoinette says up tickers in American terms it means a slight increase see (laughs) see yeah okay yeah you know um, right. <laughs> ah yes, I remember. I think that was the cookie sales report. <laughs> says this. Well, I mean, but we've got to say though, since we've been going out and picking yeah. stuff up, it's made all the difference. Yeah. Um, and you know, it, it's little sales like this. We'll share this with you. I'm going to share it in next week's think, sales report. But yeah, I'm gonna, okay. Because it's just sold, or I might have shared it already. Yeah, you no, I think I showed it, it last night. Yeah, but yeah, but, yeah, but no one saw night, that. No one saw that. Really. Like, but like this, this is uh, this is um an example of a sale that we've gotten mm-hmm. that we wouldn't have had a few weeks ago because yeah, we simply because weren't, we weren't going, going out. Yeah, and we got this from the car boot. This was when Rebecca was buying more buttons. We spied this, so kind of that helped us out. Yeah. Yeah. So it was good. It was good that oh, you were buying got buttons. buttons. You got buttons out of it, and we got a sale out of it. Everyone's happy. Um, yeah, we sold this item for sixty-one pound plus twenty-five pound shipping mm-hmm. to Russia. I shipped that out today, and it's that kind of sale, that extra like eighty odd pounds worth of mm-hmm. you know sale coming in that has I think kept us going like in in the right direction. Yeah. Where our sales are definitely started to pick up. We're doing the kind of numbers we want to be doing, um, and hopefully we'll keep increasing that as well. But it's definitely this kind of one-off item because. Sometimes when we're selling like radio control car parts, they're very. Some of them are very low value, aren't they? Yeah. So like you know, four or five pound mm-hmm. items, um, and things like that. Um, okay. Hi, sorry, I'm a bit late. Have I missed much? Only S Club Seven jokes, says Nick. No, oh, I'm just. I just read Karin's um message. Little sis ringing. She got engaged this evening. Catch you, lovely people. Later. Oh wow! Thank you for joining us and congratulations yeah, to your little sister. Yeah. Um, Shazad has a question says does anyone look at the PayPal business report Uh, 2.1% international sales um, 76.4% mobile sales and 14% repeat customer sales for the month yeah we do sometimes look at our um, activity like that like um, we we do have a look at like how we've done Mm -hmm. um, in terms of repeat customers international I don't know how to look at um, I don't know how to look at um, that thing that you said like the mobile sales i don't know how you find that out um do you i don't I, i've not seen if that. you don't know how to do it yeah i don't know how to do that what um, do you think i'm gonna know about finding out how to do it i don't know, I don't know. I just checking just saying just saying just saying <laughs> just saying yeah fair enough yeah so we, yeah that's something um all right uh okay uh da, da. Like a cookie, S Club don't crumble. That's a lyric from S Club. I think cookie is a co- I don't know. Is a crumble. Is that like the rapping bit where Bradley does? Because 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 typically S Club had to have a very stereotypical setup, and so the black guy had to rap, right? Is it Bradley in S Club? You're the biggest fan. I'm not the biggest. <laughs> fan. Am I right? Wasn't it Bradley in S Club that that did the rapping? I don't know. I don't know. Something about crumble just rings a bell. I'm not sure. Um, don't know. Yeah. <laughs> so. Don't know. I have sold a fully functional carpet or rug beater made from wicker, vintage and in great condition for twelve pound plus postage. Sounds oh. good. Um, a death by glamour says so happy it's officially the bat chat now. I'm a copyright. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. It's fine. <laughs> oh gosh. Uh, um, I think Tom's come into the chat. Seen a lot has of tom talk. come in hey, tom. Oh, yes yes he has hey hey he hey, says tom. yeah exactly um and yes bettina says well done zahir on the sale 69 no, no, that boosted your weight it's yeah it's been little sales like that, that yeah have, we, I mean, we've had you know we've had sales. we have yeah. we've really we do analyze what we do quite regularly sometimes too much and probably, a little bit too much sometimes and maybe we don't always make the right choices but we're the first to admit we've stopped buying when we 
shouldn't have. Yeah, we yeah and we we it's kind been of something cut, that yeah. we've discussed heavily recently. Yeah, and we stopped buying, and we shouldn't have. We and bought, that's we all it came this, down to. Yeah, we bought. Uh, <laughs> we we bought. We bought. <laughs> this is Darren's comment. He's such a gay. I'm trying to be serious. <laughs> <laughs> It's just the way he's written it. You, you know, like I'm... <laughs> oh, God, he's terrible, man. He's... Oh, <laughs> where, where has it gone That's now? I'm, la- I'm laughing, I've oh, lost you, it. Oh, you were scrolling. No, there. back up, back up. That's it. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> yes. Well, no, no, there was, a, there was another bit. Yes, yeah, so you went from who's that to knowing Bradley's rap. <laughs> oh, gosh. Um... No, there wasn't as a here in S Club. Hey, Welsh Wonders. Um, yeah, so, it, it, like, we definitely made a mistake. When we got, like, our, mm-hmm. when, we, when we started to buy bigger halls, um, we definitely felt that we just clammed up and we stopped going out and stopped purchasing. And, and that has what's affected us. And at the time, I think I was really stubborn about it. That I was like, no, I don't want to go out. I don't need to go out. Mm-hmm. Um, and we relied I, I too much what on the what RC. What happened is we were so uh, yeah. overwhelmed with the yeah. amount of stock that we yeah. had. We just felt like we couldn't take on any more. And yeah. w- but also things were going well at one point and yeah. we made that stupid decision like that stupid human thing where when things are going well you assume they're always going to go well yeah. you always think that because you've had a good few months you then assume that's going to be the norm mm-hmm. like you, you know it's human nature something well, for me it is anyway I'm, uh, you guys may be different but that's how it felt and, I think because thing well, it was going we, well and we were like it's going do you know what? we're new yeah. to this okay yeah. we are going to make mistakes um, but the main thing is to learn from those mistakes. And yeah. I can guarantee you, we won't make that. Same yeah, we're not going to stop buying now. It just, you, it's because not you just happen. don't, you just don't know when the ups mm-hmm. and downs of the year are going to be, like sales wise, you know. Um, so it's definitely something we're not going to fall for. Um, I don't know, Z. Someone just mentioned you eating cookies and put it together. Yo, you're the master <laughs> of rappers. Oh gosh. Tom says, wave your hands in the air like you don't care. That's been done. Thank you. <laughs> There's a part. Yeah. Okay, maybe not that part. Um, you can't hide the S Club love anymore, Z. Just embrace the truth. We will support you through it. Where, how does this happen? I don't know. How does this happen? I don't know. <laughs> Just go with the magic, baby. I can see it there in your eyes. Is that another lyric? I don't know, I don't actually. Know. You know, I really don't Baz, know. Baz, you must be deep into S Club. Um, Sean says, I keep buying, buying and buying means I make more, more and more filling up my Amazon inventory slowly Mm -hmm. with my profits from eBay capital from eBay goes back into eBay while still full time employed. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. Um, Shazad says your RC sales can build your base and the charity shop and car boots pickup can provide a nice top up. That's and I think that's exactly what's been happening over the last few weeks. And that's exactly what we've noticed is the car boot and the charity shop pickups that have been coming through and yeah. actually been selling have been topping off our weeks really really nicely and and it's also we, meant that we've now sent stuff up to amazon which yeah. is going to bring us some really decent like chunks of money and, the, and yeah and so, that's exactly yeah. it and it's just yeah yeah um it, and but i think it's 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 led us on to a couple of other things um to think about as well mm-hmm. um you know it, it's made us think about okay um you know space for example um everyone has a level of comfort about how much sourcing you can Mm -hmm. do at home um we've got space to put more stuff in the house Mm -hmm. but we kind of don't want to to use more space than we already are yeah so we have to like at the moment the only way i think we can grow is by by sending a lot more stuff up to amazon when we can um and also just buying fast turnover items when Mm -hmm. we see them uh, and just moving them quickly like on what we are buying for ebay mm-hmm. like you know what we are buying for ebay just to turn it over and stuff that we can send to amazon send to amazon because it's out of the house and mm-hmm. eventually even if we can get a small storage space it will allow us to scale up a bit which is it's, yeah is something we've been talking about yeah. recently again exactly um, because anything that's going to make us 
push the business forward. Because now we're getting that thing where the, the RC sales are nice and, yeah. you know, it, but like we're getting like little, little nice little sales on top, which are, which are kind of, well, they're not even that little, are they? I mean, yeah. you know, like we had the Polaroid camera sale, yeah. you know, we've had, um, you know, just this week and, you know, I did mm-hmm. like the, if some of you haven't seen, I did like a seven sales in seven minutes um sales video so if you haven't seen that you can always mm-hmm. go and check that out I, I just showed seven sales in seven minutes and those are all items that we picked up some of them within yeah. you know within the past seven days you know um sourcing rocks of course nick could say that but yeah it hundred percent it is so important mm-hmm. Um, and we I think we just messed up really I think it was we just I was, we, and I was stubborn about it though because yeah. I remember people saying aren't you going out sourcing and stuff and I was yeah. like no 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 we've got loads of RC parts yeah. thinking as if they're gonna because when they sell they make us a lot of money mm-hmm. okay we're happy with it but we w- we definitely had a dip in the summer yeah you know? I, I don't think like we knew that we'd have to source at some point but I think we kind of just took a step back like too much of a step back we should have been on it a lot sooner yeah Um, definitely definitely i think yeah we just yeah 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 we 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 just needed to just you know uh we just needed to to keep that part Mm -hmm. running uh, i think um and 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 the dumb thing is ebay provides you with tools as well Mm -hmm. ebay provides you with tools which tell you i mean that you can look at a five years worth of data Mm -hmm in any category and you can see when that category is hot and when it's not Mm -hmm. and if we'd just taken the time to look at that information and say hold on a second we're going to notice a big dip in these few months Mm -hmm. before it picks up again in october and it's translating into sales we are selling more rc now Mm -hmm. and just like the graph said you know the (laughs) just (laughs) that's the money of day Chappelle, hasn't it (laughs) I'm sorry. He loves it. It's just like it's yeah, an encyclopedia. It's just, do you know what? Yeah. Whenever you say that, I can't. Yeah. I can't keep yeah. a straight face. I'm sorry. It it's just, just like it's said in the encyclopedia. Yeah. Oh, anyway, gosh, yeah. Um, but yeah, so we we have made a mistake yeah. over this year, and we're paying. Yeah, we're paying for it. Yeah, um, and, and the biggest casualty got, has been. You. And we've got a lot of hard work in front of us. Um, yeah. Like, it feels like I'm working seven days a week at the moment. Which you are. Which I pretty much am. Well, no, you are, because you're going to I'm work. I'm doing, and like, the weekends, eBay stuff at the weekend. We're hitting the car boots and then, again. And, and then I'm working during the yeah. week. And it, yeah. it's, a, it's a struggle. It's a strain. You're, on, it's you're a tired lot a lot of the time, aren't you? I'm always tired. We're doing stupid stuff like getting up at five o'clock in the morning. <laughs> um, <laughs> you can see Rebecca's loving life a <laughs> lot. Um, and I really am enjoying getting up at five in the morning. Um, no, but are you? Because I am. Okay. I, I wasn't being sarcastic. No, because do you know what? One thing I will say is I have so much more time to get get up and ready and awake in the morning. Um, it's one thing that I've really, really, really enjoyed about the changes that we've made recently. Um, and yeah, I get out, walk out with with you, and because. A lot of the times, because I was getting up later, I was missing the walk with you and Alf. Yeah. And then sometimes missing it again in the evening. And um, I'm a part of like the Fitbit group. Yeah, the Fitbit group. Um, I need to get on Yeah, there's a few guys um, from Instagram on there. And it's been really great because I've noticed a real improvement in my steps this week, especially. Um, and yeah, I've I've been really enjoy- enjoying doing the getting up at five, but it does mean I have to go to bed when my phone says. So you know. <laughs> yeah, so you're past your bedtime now. I'm past my bedtime yeah. now. Um, and, um, <laughs> Sacrifices we have to make. <laughs> Alia's got a legit question: Who's Bezzy, S Club or Spice Girls? It's got to be Spice Girls, yeah, right? I was much more of a Spice yeah, Girls it's fan. Spice Girls. And she says, as plus, you can hold out for top dollar on your RC parts. Yeah, I mean, we we really dilly dally on this because sometimes we've now got a we've now had the stock for a year, mm-hmm. and something that Nick's just said as well. Um, what I found with my RC with my car parcel is that the in demand stuff sells through quick, 
and the sales started to dwindle makes sense yeah. and i think that's what's happened with us yeah so you can now we've now got a year's worth of data where we've had this stuff listed for a year and we can now see that out of all the listings um how many have never sold mm -hmm. a single item and how many have sold and so when this is yeah. something we talked about at the start yeah. when you were going into panic mode going i want to just sell it all off and i was like no wait see what's selling and then we can go over the, the things that aren't selling for us and then consider kind of shifting that stuff out so that we're only keeping the stuff that is you know ticking along yeah because with any haul you're always going to get stuff that sells better than yeah you know other parts yeah. really and then now and but but the thing is it then we now sell we're now in a situation where like we could get rid of those parts but mm -hmm. we know they will sell eventually but now we're taking the pressure off making that decision by buying this other stuff and it makes it easy to then say well mm -hmm. even if it hasn't sold yet it's not harming us enough to get rid of it um so we can just leave it because we can keep buying more stuff don't you reckon? Because mm -hmm. we're buying more car boot stuff. Um, print me up says, keep going, Z. Reach for the stars. Thank you. <laughs> um, just, I don't know how this goes. Um, <laughs> that knitting machine part was a cool sale, says we were, Thank you. Yeah, that was, we were really, yeah, we were really impressed happy by that. that. Yeah. Um, RA can be amazing on Amazon. Actually, when I sent all my RA new items, I find to Amazon. The rest goes on eBay, says Ash. Well, we, we do really well with some used mm -hmm. stuff as well. Like, really well. Like, yeah. Um, you know, you, there's a few items that you can just buy that you know are going to just sell for good money. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> nine o'clock bedtime, what is this craziness? I know. I know, <laughs> it is crazy. Me and Z are doing fat bit in the back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. Um, climb every mountain higher, Z, says Darren. Mm -hmm. Thank you for that advice. I appreciate it. Um, next time I'm at the summit of a mountain, I'll make sure yes. that I, I climb it higher and reach for the stars and... And do all, all that of stuff. that stuff. Yes. Um, and make sure we have a party over... Over here, here. and over there. Over and, there yeah, and we'll, we'll, we'll whatever. We'll make sure. Um, <laughs> Lex says, question, Z, will you be doing any more cookie cola videos? I like to fall asleep. <laughs> you know what? She's so funny. Um, no, Lex. There's, there are no more plans to... to, no. to you know what? I think... <laughs> If you guys haven't seen my seven sales in seven days video, you should check it out. There's a little bit of joke jokiness in there. Yeah. But the whole thing with a joke is you got to be careful. You can't just do it. Yeah. Like you just can't like that's yeah. it now. That's done. You know, if I want to do something stupid, I've got to think of something else stupid to do, which I'm sure I will. I'm, I've got no shortage of stupid ideas. <laughs> you know, that's what I yeah. do. It's true. It's my thing. <laughs> so don't worry. But yeah, I'm not going <laughs> to... Yeah. <laughs> they mean 9am DBG show. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, 9pm bedtime. Um, okay. I totally agree. So this is ad. Perfect. Um, okay. <laughs> um, if my alarm went off at 5am, I'd take it outside and beat it like a... <laughs> oh, God. I'm not going to finish reading that in the tat dog. So I nearly did. <laughs> nearly <laughs> yeah. I just turn it off and roll over it's easier says DBG do you know what it's very tempting to do that I think Monday when we first well you've been but doing think, it about a week already the thing is, it's, it, but it's nice when you see I think Casey Neistat did that video recently about waking up early yeah. like he, he talked to some marine guy that wakes up at 4am every morning and how they get more done and we've been just enjoying it because yeah. we and, it, and yeah. it's not necessarily like it like losing any hours no you're doing more stuff it's it's, yeah. it's adjusting part of your day so yeah. like the hours at night time that you'd sit in front of the tv or well he casey nice says in front of like netflix. netflix or whatever he's just taking those hours and putting them at the start of his day where he feels like he can get more productive work and you know just a productive start to the day and i i just yeah it, it's it was watching that well listening to that because i actually listened while i was listening yeah. <laughs> so i was so i listened into it and i was like yeah actually that makes a lot of sense so we, we've given it a go haven't we and yeah exactly it's working at the moment yeah it, it is it is difficult on some days yeah it is early, difficult on some days yeah. um question how many of you see claim your cash back pop up after purchasing an ebay product 
it's true you get cash back then you get 10 percent cash back with complete savings um i've not bought anything recently yeah, on I'm, ebay so i can't yeah. be sure um okay now in all seriousness i'm a morning person and a night owl i run on about four and a half hours sleep a night wow that's pretty epic but i have yeah. to say you you i you kind of do that as well i don't sleep much or? i don't i don't need much sleep. i can happily stay up till like one yeah. and get up at five no i'm the type yeah. of person Whereas, that needs like yeah. seven eight hours sleep i like things i like i i'm i'm like i'm actually a bit like dbg there where i like to stay up as long as i can mm. but then i like to get up, get up early as well. as well i don't like yeah, lying yeah. in like i'm not a big lying in person i just yeah. don't you know i like to just get up you know mm-hmm um so yeah i tend to just do that um i am up every day about 6 45 and don't sleep till 1 a.m been doing it for years Mm. wow there you go if you needed confirmation that you know having those kind of hours can be beneficial shazad's a great example of someone that's doing an awful lot and you know you Mm -hmm. need the time in the day to do that so um statistically early risers are more productive well i must be the anomaly <laughs> i've always done 5 45 and get up around six i find the few hours in the morning before kids etc are the most productive yeah completely yeah. completely um yeah. it makes such a such a big um you know such a big difference i think mm-hmm. um do you nap midday says marcella not really i kind of i i don't know it's not something i like to do um yeah me too z i sleep any longer i feel really tired all day yeah we, there's a time isn't there you you just have to yeah, get up i mean you can yeah. like over sleep yeah i like. if i if i sleep in i the i'm not more i'm not i don't have more energy i feel like i've got mm-hmm. less energy whereas if i get up early like if we're up early and you're doing stuff you then just carry on doing stuff yeah don't absolutely. you like you just so you you start your day by getting out and and you know like our weekends so. have been brilliant like because we've even been getting up at like five over the weekends so and that's how it all started was we started with a weekend didn't we um and it's just kind of carried on but it's it's been far more productive and we've gotten so much stuff done dbg and lex have some of the most inappropriate conversations <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not even, I don't even know. I'm not even reading that. Um, I'd like to get up whenever I like if I could and Amazon FBA did all the work for me after I sent them products and not have to get up early for employed feeling tired I'll carry on dreaming um, Nick says I stay up late and get up late just how I roll <laughs> yeah it, it's how whatever is comfortable um, you know whatever, what, it, well I that's think com- the thing yeah mm. I think it, you yeah. have to do, you have to do what i think it's about momentum for me it's about momentum yeah like i I, I, if i don't do anything like like if i the amount of times beck has found me asleep in this chair Mm -hmm. because if i sit down and don't do anything Mm -hmm. for even a little bit like it's it's if i'm just like randomly watching uh, like youtube or whatever i'll be asleep in this chair won't i like and then you're like (laughs) 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 yeah you do so for me it's all about momentum Mm -hmm. and like i i will just i have to keep doing something Uh and then when i get to bed that's it um you know i'm not saying it's productive z lol i know i could be way more productive says nick yeah exactly exactly it comes down to whatever like like for me it's about momentum Mm -hmm. like I, i have to be it's about momentum completely if i stop doing stuff i'll just that's it then i'm you know um yeah. right um Hazzy, you should read our private conversations as <laughs> oh god i dread to like can you imagine i'm not sure we could handle it no no i think i could no no, no. yeah they're pretty bad actually you'd probably two. have to go yeah. into the corner and, and cover start, your like, ears yeah, and rock so, yeah i think so <laughs> um it's more to do with the quality of sleep you get you can run on a handful of hours but the sleep they get will be better than some sleeping longer says the welsh wonders mm-hmm. ah, okay um i stayed awake for 41 hours what that is crazy no way no no way. No, no, no that's no. crazy no, no, no. um especially the ones we're talking about boys in it <laughs> in it for sure babe. oh gosh you guys man um less sleep is not good for health yeah i mean 
I think you know it, it's one of those things you have to um, 20 minute wink what? I don't know I don't know I, I don't know what that meant, but okay, I'll, I'll, I'll leave that. I'm listing now, though. Produ- it is productive. Of course it's productive. Listing now, you're making use of your time. Mm-hmm. And, and plus, it's not all about being productive. is isn't just, I think, I don't think being productive is all about work. Work. No. Because there's loads of other stuff you have to be doing as mm-hmm. well, like feeding the kids, doing the shopping, you know, yeah. ma- all this other life stuff that you have to do yeah. as well. Oh, you did the online shopping on your I own. I did the online shopping. Yeah. Yeah. I, it was pretty good, wasn't it? Yeah. It, it, I think I did a good job. Yeah. Okay. There's um, a couple of missing bits. But. We've got a couple of bits we can share with you as well, guys, because we're not going to be on for like much longer. We're already on for 40 minutes. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. We are going to be going to car boot again this weekend because we are sourcing and whatnot. It's fun. Um, so we picked up a few extra bits um, from the charity shops. Um this was a bit of a fail, really, I think, potentially. This is a Penguin Classics CD case thing, mm-hmm. uh, audio book. It's got like 10... A CD case What is it? No, 45 CDs it's got, but I paid yeah. 10 quid for this, which is a lot. Um, if that you is. were to sell this on eBay, that's a fail. It's a complete fail. Um, however, um, if you send this to Amazon, you should be okay. I think you should be okay. Mm-hmm. Um, not amazing, but I, I, I might have to wait for some like low ball sellers to sell out before I sell mine. But I think at Christmas, hopefully, I'll mm-hmm. do okay. I wouldn't have paid this much for it if I wasn't going to be sending it to Amazon. Um, so yeah, that's that's pretty kind of uh, first pickup. Yeah. yeah. This is actually one of my favourite pickups because I've not picked up video games in a while. Mm-hmm. We've got Fire Emblem Fates Birthright. Yeah. And we've got Dragon Quest, you know. Um now this is the beauty of of making yourself known and um making yourself like um aware of of stuff. Um Julie says <laughs> 10 pounds I bought one for 50p. Oh, man. <laughs> Well, Maybe I got you screwed. paid a little bit too much. No, no. For Amazon, it's okay. The amount of stuff you can buy on eBay and send into Amazon is crazy. I swear you could make a full time living. You completely could. You completely could. Yeah. Ash, a hundred, hundred percent. Amazon's are here. Thirty pound, I think I got on that. Yeah. See, it's not amazing. Ten yeah. to thirty after fees. It's not a great pickup. I thought. I thought it'd be around around that though. So thanks for confirming that. Um, okay um but this is these two are nice games they're all both complete now this is the cool thing when you make um when you make um yourself aware of um not make yourself aware no make yourself known yeah that's what i meant when you make yourself known to the staff in a nice way Mm -hmm. like you know you go in and you're buying stuff you're talking you're friendly you know like whatever right Uh, you're just nice just be a nice person it helps um i was even though they normally charge like three quid a game Mm -hmm. the guy was going to give me both of these when i said oh how much were these two he said give me a quid for both Mm -hmm. one pound for both right i didn't have a pound on me no did not have a pound on me i checked in my pockets you know i checked in my socks um behind the ear everything there was just no money i had no money right so what i did um was i said to the guy i'll tell you what i haven't got any money on me but will you take a donation on my card and he was like oh it's a five pound minimum i was like yeah that's completely fine so i paid them a five pound donation on my on my card so donated to the charity so i paid five quid for these two in essence so i paid two pound fifty each mm-hmm. um but yes <laughs> you know um i didn't yeah i know nick why would he <laughs> have a pound in his sock i don't know because i you know what i found i had holes in my jean pockets oh well, so you thought that it might go all the way down to your and, sock. and have gone into my sock somehow just in case but, yeah. Weirdo. <laughs> <Don't you? laughs> I didn't really check my socks, people. Don't tell me so literally. Um, but yes, <laughs> yeah. I, it, I I tend to exaggerate <laughs> things sometimes, right? Anyway, but yes, um, these should do well at Amazon or even on eBay. I think you can get twenty five quid for this one mm-hmm. on eBay, even uh, on Amazon. Probably around the same. I think 
Um, yeah, but good sellers and that. I don't know, probably some money in I that as well. I don't know why you look at me when you want to quote an Amazon price. Kay. What, like I do Amazon? Oh, you see me do Amazon. I'm doing Amazon. Yeah, I don't do it though. I'm doing it though. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you just wanted to put that out there, did yeah. you? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Just, you know, just wanted to say. Um, okay. Um, I want sausages as well, not instead. What are we talking about sausages for? I keep cashing my bra, says Lex. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Me too, Lex says Nick. <laughs> oh god. Um a South London recess says I flirt with the charity shop staff, male or female, to get good deals. I have no shame. It's it's not about flirting, it's just being a nice person. I think it helps. Um right. Okay. <laughs> Let's move on to a couple other items. <laughs> Only a couple more, only a couple more. Again, it's games. Um, Lex and I are discussing our Sunday breakfast plans here. Yeah, sounds good. Sounds good. More video games. These were 50 pence each from Mm -hmm. a different charity shop. So, see, since we've been going out, Mm -hmm. you suddenly start finding all these things. You say we, you've been going out. I know, I know. Aww. Bet gets upset when I say that. I do, because, like, I haven't been going going out with you. Well, you're coming coming out the weekend. Yeah. Huh? Can't believe We've killed it at the weekend. Come on. Yeah. The stuff we picked up at the weekend was insane. Yeah. So, yeah. But but these... Why didn't you check your brazi? Very funny, Ash. Uh, <laughs> these are Settlers 3 and 4 on PC. The big box versions. I was going to say, it doesn't wear one during the week. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. But but the, <laughs> these for 50 pence each, they're not bad. I've seen someone get nearly 20 quid for that one. Settlers 3. Uh, settlers for maybe about 15 or something um so it, it's just yeah. cool that we've been picking those up um and nick says you gotta be in it to win it the charity shops that is yeah it completely yeah completely i think i mean you had a wander around today didn't you yeah didn't we didn't really get anything today, anything today yeah. but, but at least it's still worth if you're in the area just pop in it's always worth it yeah well that's check. the thing we i think we just it, you, you know you sometimes like you said you learn your lesson don't you mm-hmm. um and we've since we've started to go back it's been really nice mm-hmm. and i know you say not we but you know you come you're coming out of the weekends with me aren't you huh mm-hmm. you're coming out of the weekends yeah, aren't we you exactly we why are you quite laughing for it's so funny <laughs> what <laughs> what darren's saying is that steve green sitting on your shelf um, oh no it's no, not it's mr tat it's mr tat mr tat is sitting on our shelf <sighs> got mr tat from the auction yeah. these are my two purchases from the auction you hold him up oh yeah there we mm. go so mr tat how cool and, and how cool is that and they now both have Andre, shelf Andre, space. Arriba, arriba. Huh? Yeah. how cool is that this is the coolest thing. I love Mr. Tat as well though. I do yeah. love Mr. Tat. But this guy, he's like a childhood nineteen seventy six that is. But Mr Mr Um Speedy Gonzalez is one of my childhood yeah. favourite cartoons. Oh Nick's like sad face. I know. <laughs> I know. My bud. <laughs> <laughs> Put them here. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, Okay, I'm also on the shelf, about to try and catch you by the looks of it. What? Oh, yeah. Oh, um, oh. Ash, Ash, Ash is up there as well. Very yeah. funny. Very funny. Very. Funny. <laughs> um, how much time did you spend today, but didn't get anything? Says Sean. Um, ooh, by the time I got home and everything said and done probably when did i drop you off got there um, about one didn't i yeah, yeah i had to get to work okay. for about one yeah. well today. i it took two hours uh but that also includes doing a little bit of um like uh shopping at the supermarket mm-hmm. as well so two hours um and yeah it, it that's the thing it's um you know it is it is that's the thing anyway um so it, you can sometimes go out and not find anything um, it's just the way it is. You, you have to you have to keep going out and, and doing that. Um, I've seen Carla's technique in charity shop, says Lex. She's like a demon. Can't wait to see her car boot tactics, says Lex. Um, 
Uh, my charity shops are shocking for stock and overpriced, but they have the odd gem. If you don't trawl them, you won't get deals, says Welsh Wonders. Yeah. It's the same well, here. We get the same yeah. here. We were, we were talking this on, yeah. uh, on our dog walk this evening. There's one charity shop along your high street. It always seems to be quite highly priced. But then when they do have a sale, it actually brings stuff. it yeah. right into line where it's like affordable. Yeah. Um. So it's, yeah. So we still pop in there because and sometimes they do get like yeah, it sometimes seems to get things disheartened. get overlooked yeah. as well they do yeah so and and that's the other side to kind of remember so even though you think it's high price keep still keep checking because they do miss things from time to time so, yeah exactly you know. they do um i mean it's one of those situations where like for example um when i picked up that that audio book set mm -hmm. the, one of the charity shops i went into had like this really cool um jack skellington cookie jar um but it was up for auction on ebay so they mm -hmm. it, and it was in the shop saying oh you know you can bid on me um so things like that happen and you're like oh that's a bit of a shame yeah. um but um, i think more and more you know shops are doing shops that aren't they? are doing that yeah so you just like like has been said it's it's yeah. not it's nothing new because even our yeah. local tip shop they've started doing or ebay and like, things oh yeah, yeah oh that's going on ebay or you know and it's like okay fine yeah um so yeah there is a bit more of it yeah exactly um so yeah i mean it, mm -hmm. we just have to kind of uh, there's it, nothing new you just have to keep going out like has been yeah. said a million times before and i'm just glad that we're um you know, I'm just glad that we've been back out there car booting and, mm -hmm. and charity shopping and hopefully auctions as Oops. well. Um, you know, that's the other thing we're going to be doing. Um, okay, backpack falling on a bruise says. Um, oh gosh, 20 drafts done since the raffle ended. Someone pat my back says Carla. Ah, okay, that's, ah. that's what it is. That's pretty good. Yeah. Okay. Um, Tom's going to be gaming later if anyone's bored yeah I mean oh, everyone says that the new zombie thing is good mm. in Fortnite but I don't know mm. I don't know I've, I've not played it so yeah um, I spent an hour in Poundland today scanning barcodes uh, took six items home with me says Sean that's ah, not bad um, okay <laughs> They released Castlevania Symphony of the Night and Rond Rondo of Blood today. What? I don't even know what that is. I went to eight charity shops today and bought nothing, says Tom. Yeah, I think, yeah, you just have to, it's part of the game, isn't it? It's part yeah. of the game. I think we'd gotten just too relaxed about not going, um, but now I'm not bothered about going and not finding anything. Uh, and not just that, I'm going to start hitting the auctions again as well. Um, start buying an auctions, um, mm -hmm. you know, when we can. So yeah, you know, when we've yeah. got a bit of space, really sorted out, you know. But we might be getting some storage at some point, you mm -hmm. know. Hopefully, I really want to get some storage. I think, I think like n being able to take the stuff out. Like when I watch Lonnie's videos, um, he like he goes every morning to his like storage locker. He's got his stock there, and I just mm. like that, you know. Yeah, I I like that. Um, everything has a bleeding zombie mode nowadays, says Darren. I know, right? Um, it is. It is true. Um, it just seems to be the way of the world now. Every game has, like, uh, Battle Royale and, and zombies mixed in somehow. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why, but... Yeah. All right. Don't know. Other Did you that... share everything? Oh, one, my, one of my favourite pickups, actually. Extra storage is dangerous, says Tom. That's for you because you hoard things. Yes. I'm not hoarding anything. I'm not hoarding anything. I like. I'm strictly buying and then selling. Actually, yeah. I will say he's actually. I've even yeah. sold something you bought yeah. to keep, and then he was like, "What am I going to do with it?" Because I'm not, you know, playing with it. I'm, and so yeah. he actually. Well, we're waiting for payment, really. Yeah, aren't we're we on it. Payment, it's yeah, sold but, today, yeah. but. But they I'm haven't yeah. Paid I'm yet. I'm actually selling stuff I don't need. I'm keeping pretty. Like just mm -hmm. you know, I'm keeping focused. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, is the storage for your S Club merch? Says Tom. Nope. Nope. <laughs> it's not for my S Club. <laughs> yeah. Um, Z Symphony of the Night is on PS One. Is one of the most expensive games on the platform. If complete, worth about three hundred. Uh, wow. Okay. I'm wondering how many Nick had in his gaming shop. 
God, yeah. Imagine how many must have passed through. Um, all right, we're gonna go through our last item, and then we're gonna call it a night. This is this is actually one of my favourite finds, just because of mm -hmm. how cool it is. Um, if you guys ever see storage for old media, so floppy disks, uh, cassette tapes, it's always worth picking up. And that's what this is. This is a fellow's um, workstation, and it holds sixty-five um floppy disks mm -hmm. says it there 65 floppy disks which is really cool and what's nice about this this is new mm -hmm. um it's completely unused um all the bits inside are like unused the the the, the bag is still sealed it's got like it's plastic mm -hmm. key um so i really think that's a nice little pickup i paid three pound 99 for it mm -hmm. um i don't know how much i'd get new in the box um, but I'd be hoping to get maybe twenty pounds, if not more, for it. Mm -hmm. um, hopefully twenty five, something like that. Maybe even thirty. I don't know. You'd have to you'd have to just price it up and see with this because yeah. you know, from nineteen ninety three, it's pretty cool. Because mm -hmm. people, I've seen people sell open ones for about twelve to fifteen. So you know, I'd say twenty twenty five shouldn't be um, you know shouldn't mm -hmm. be um, a, a, a bad price for it. So I was pretty happy with that. Um, okay and um, Libel says I've got that one in black brand new in the box uh, Peter Ray says by the way I got a blue Yeti mic from Amazon for £110 um, as £10 off the original price it's not a huge discount Peter but as long as you're happy with it um, do you people still use those discs asked Julie not in most Not cases, so no. No. But if you're like an Amiga fan or an old, you know, an old computer fan, mm. a, a, a collector of those things, you probably will have lots of um, uh, or lots of floppy yeah. disks, um, and you will want to be able to store them in a vintage case. So it depends. Um, so yeah, I've used one. Uh, I've sold used one for 15 says Darren ah, there you go and Nick says imagine how many storage boxes are in landfill now yeah completely um, yeah so oh, I loved my A600 I had an Amiga 1200 Lex and an Amiga 1200 you know the AGA the advanced graphics architecture chipset and I used to play Chaos Engine and Sensible Soccer on it mm -hmm. yeah I used to love Syndicate as well mm -hmm. and I sh and, and I got Nick Faldo's golf with it as part of the bundle. I don't know why. Um, and I used to show my dad the word processor on it. So he thought it was like just great for work because they bought it for me on the proviso <laughs> that I'd use it for homework. So I'd have to boot up Workbench and then run Wordsworth, which was like the word processing program. Um, just to show them that look dad it's you look, know I'm, yeah, I'm doing work doing yeah. work yeah and then when he'd go she'd load up sensible soccer yeah 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 play that for hours all right um <laughs> so um blue yeti's really good i used to love my 80 20 20 says ash um loads of banging at mine tonight <laughs> don't you just love fireworks <laughs> It was good that you added that second part there, Sean. Uh, <laughs> because, you know, if you just left it at loads of banging at mine tonight, Lex would have probably asked if she could come round. Uh, <laughs> um, okay. Um, Aid says, I like the ways he keeps adding for five on his price. That's how it works. Um, 1,200 snob, says Tom. Um <laughs> Late night stream says Lee, stop clogging up my Friday night YouTube activity. It's not that late. It's only nine thirty. I have an old Atari with the five star five inch floppies. Okay, uh, I had an Atari ST says Nick. Um, yeah, they used to be floppy the original ones. Um, yeah, four discs for SF two on the Amiga. Yep, <laughs> big flop. Oh god. Cannon fodder on the Amiga, yes, of course, of course. Kickoff wasn't amazing, Nick. It was all about sensible soccer. Um, we were the first family in our village to have a computer, a Spectrum ZX. <laughs> oh, fancy, fancy. Um, I had a 500, 500 plus, and 600, never had a 1200. First computer in the village. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> that's what I was thinking. 
Oh, oh my gosh. Dear. Uh, hey, Mary, hey, Mary, Deathy Deals. We were just talking about old Amigas <coughs> and things. Yes. Yes. Um, we are actually going to call it a night now, though, because we're coming up to an hour. Um, sure, people want to go off and do things, but your dad thought you loved doing homework. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he, 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 I think they must I have I bet known. your dad was on to you. Probably, probably. I still have an old PC from 1995. Elite was a good game, yes. Sensible Soccer says Aid, yes. Sensi Soccer was awesome, says Darren, yep. Alfred the Chicken and Zool, I remember those. <laughs> <laughs> Just laughing at Lexus. <laughs> Not even joking, people used to look in through the window to see it. Man crazy that that's, is. that's high level x that is um anyway guys we're gonna call it a night now um it's been an hour we don't keep you any longer we're obviously going to be going off to bed soon i might i don't know i might try this new zombie mode out i don't know yeah i don't know probably won't in the end you do. i haven't made a video on my other channel in ages either i don't mm. know i don't know i'll see how it goes i probably won't end up will i well I should have been in bed you should 40 be in minutes bed. ago. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna go list 25 auctions, says DBG. Look at that. 25 auctions. Um, Ash says, do it. <laughs> yeah, you should. You should go and play. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. You should go play. Yeah. So it's really good. Is it? Yeah. Man. I've heard it a lot. I do like know. the ding of the hedge. I don't know. Yeah. Um, okay. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Really appreciate everybody joining us. Hope you have a good day at the car boots tomorrow if you're going. Mm -hmm. um, we should be going, assuming it's on. I haven't checked yeah, yet. Yeah, we haven't checked. Bex yawning says eight. I know. Do you know what? I am really tired. Yeah. I get to this point and then that's it. I'm just like, yeah, I need to sleep. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right. See you guys later. <laughs> thanks for watching. Yeah, thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time. Yeah. I think. <laughs> <laughs>